Once you open up the front of the machine, this is what you're going to see. You're going to remove a screw from here. You could use uh, needle nose pliers. There may be another screw on this side. This plate here with the Mega Touch controller is going to come off to the front and out. You can let it sit down, down in the bottom here. You're going to have a screw here. And you'll have two screws down the bottom here, below the hard drive. There and over there. This hard drive then will be able to lift out. You may have the, uh, the cord here that's holding the front screen from falling forward there as well. You're going to have a power plug here and then the hard drive plug here. They just wiggle up and out on both sides, just like this. Then you're going to take the four screws out of the side bracket of the hard drive, put your new hard drive in, put those four screws back in there, plug in your power, and also your hard drive cable. Over here on this machine, this cable can only plug in one way. It does have a little tab right on the top there. It will line up to the hard drive to plug that back in. Just like that. And then you're going to put the three screws you took back out, the one in the top, two down in the bottom there to hold that hard drive. If this was connected to one of those screws, you want to put that back on there as well. And then you're going to put your Mega Touch controller back over top. Tighten your two side screws if you have two. Most of them do only have one. Uh, and then power it up 